In this lesson, we are going to understand Spring Boot Maven related basics with IntelliJ IDEA. Here, we would explore one pom.xml file of an existing Spring Boot project and will understand Spring Boot starter dependencies and starter parent. These are very fundamental concepts but important ones. We will also understand the bill of materials or the BOM file and the associated dependency management. And finally, we would create a Spring Boot project without the starter parent dependency. Generally, we use the starter parent, but there could be scenarios where we cannot use the starter parent and we need to find an alternate way. We will explore that option. So this is what we are going to cover hands on. Let's get started. For this specific lesson, I have already created one simple Spring Boot project and this is the location. For this specific lesson, I have created a dedicated project. It's a Maven based Spring Boot project and this is a URL, github.com J2Expert 2015 Spring Race Sample. And I would share this URL in the video description. Let me download the code. This is the download location, extracting the file. removing this slash main at the end and I am going to cut and paste this in a particular directory where I keep all my Java projects for IntelliJ IDEA ID. So this is the directory. Let me paste it over here. Going back to desktop. I have already opened IntelliJ IDEA. Click on open. This is the folder where my project is present. This is the one spring hyphen rest hyphen sample. Click OK. Maximizing this load maven project you have to wait for a while while the maven dependencies are resolved by the intellij idea id let's open the pom.xml now here if we go through this pom.xml at the beginning we have the starter parent we are including the starter parent and the version is 3.3.6 this is the version of the spring boot that we are going to use this is the starter parent then we have the general group id artifact id all the standard stuff and the java version is 17 that is also fine here we have the starter dependencies if you see over here we have the starter web and starter test now this is a pom.xml which is complete with this we can create a web based project we can write the basic standard code in spring boot but what this dependencies or this starter does this is a starter parent and this is starter test and web what they actually do we need to understand first let us understand this dependencies this starters now what are the spring boot starters the spring boot starters are a set of convenient dependency descriptors that you can include in your application now what this dependency descriptors mean Yes, we have included them in our pom.xml, but what is dependency descriptor? We know what is dependency. For example, if you want to create a web application, you can simply include the Spring Boot Starter web in your pom.xml file. This will automatically include all the necessary dependencies for building a web application such as Spring MVC, Tomcat, Jackson. So, if I want to explain here, each and every starter is kind of self-sufficient. It includes all the relevant required dependence it's kind of a bucket for web i may need mvc tomcat jackson those would be there for test i may need junit jupiter i may need hamcrest i may need some xml related dependencies also all those would be put into different buckets so that when one particular starter dependency is included in the pom file it is self-sufficient let me quickly go back to intellij idea and show all this hands-on so here if I see this is one starter dependency for web, this is for test. If I open this Maven tool window over here, this is my project spring rest hyphen sample. Under dependency, you can see this two starters, starter web version 3.3.6 because our spring boot version itself is 3.3.6 and we have the test. Now comes the part like descriptor. As it is a descriptor, it is describing all the required dependencies. We have starter, starter JSON, starter Tomcat, web, web MVC. If I expand them further, let me resize these bars a little bit. Now inside all this, we have the granular level jars. If I see data bind, we can expand this and finally this is the lowest level so starters are kind of a descriptor which says for web starter these are the dependencies should be added 
Now within these dependencies, there could be other dependencies also. At the granular level, there could be different kind of jars. But this is a predefined set for web. Similarly, for test, if I expand, I have test, test auto configure, JSON path, XML bind, ham quest, JUnit Jupyter. All the associated things are bundled up so that for the developer, they don't need to manually include these dependencies. If you think about Spring Boot as a whole, there are different versions of Spring Boot. And for different versions, this different libraries, their compatibility matters. Now from version to version, whatever version is compatible, you don't need to think about that. You include the starter dependency. The starter dependency will take care what dependencies to include and what would be their compatible versions. That's the benefit out here. So if I drag it to the right, we know about starters now. And this is one view where we have the kind of the hierarchical view available. We can see all the result dependencies. If I go to file, project structure, and under the project settings, if I click on the libraries, here I can see what are the jars. Here we don't have the tree view, but the result dependencies are shown over here. We understood about the starter dependencies. Now why I need this starter parent then? This starter, it is bringing me all the required dependencies. Then why I need this? Do I need it at all? Answer is yes, I need it. But why I need it? Let me do a control click on top of this. I have pressed my control button and I'm clicking on this dependency. So from pom.xml, which is my project pom.xml, I have clicked on the starter parent. And here I can see this starter parent. What it has? It has another parent here, which is the Spring Boot dependencies file. And if I scroll down, it has multiple plugins, which are frequently used in Spring Boot development, whether it is Kotlin Maven plugin or if I scroll down Maven compiler plugin, Maven failsafe plugin, Maven jar plugin. So what happens in my starter parent? One thing is I have all these plugins available. Second thing, I have a reference to the Spring Boot dependencies, which is actually the bomb file. If I control click on top of this, let me do that. The Spring Boot dependency is the bomb file or bill of material file. What it has starting from ActiveMQ, if you see, we have huge number of library versions mentioned over here. And if I scroll down further under dependency management, all these dependencies are mentioned over here. So what is the strategy here? Inside Spring Boot dependency for a particular Spring Boot version, I have the library's version mentioned and their dependencies mentioned. Now this Spring Boot dependency is inherited by the parent starter. So all these dependencies with their compatible versions are available here inside the bill of material file that is available inside the starter parent. And when we inherit that starter parent here in my pom.xml, all the required libraries with their correct versions are available. If I include them the way I have included here, they would be resolved and they would be available for my application to use. If I don't include them, nothing is coming to my project. So that's the way it works. Just to show you, if I control click on Spring Boot Starter Web, this is the dedicated file for the starter web. Here, if I scroll down under dependency, you can see the Spring Boot Starter, Spring Boot JSON, Tomcat, Spring Web, Spring Web MVC, everything available the way we saw it under Maven. If I minimize this and expand this, the starter, JSON, Tomcat, Web, Web MVC, that sequence is here. From here, actually, this view is derived. If I move up, let me minimize this and go back to this bomb file or Spring Boot dependencies file. Let me search with starter web, control F. So you can see the starter web is actually present in the bill of material files and it is present with the version 3.3.6. In my POM file, actually the starter web is coming from this bomb file. We are inheriting the starter parent, which is actually inheriting the bomb file. That way, the starter dependencies are available to us. So what is Spring Boot starter parent? As we discussed, it is a special starter that provides default configurations for our Spring Boot application. It provides default configuration for Maven plugins such as what we saw, Maven failsafe plugin, JAR plugin, Surefire plugin, WAR plugin, etc. 
it inherits the dependency management from the spring boot dependencies which is called the bill of material file or the bom file which actually contains all the dependencies with their compatible versions what is spring boot bom or a bill of materials to summarize spring boot bom is a specialized bom project object model used to manage and standardize dependency versions in spring boot projects if you think at a higher level for spring boot there would be different versions if it is 3.3.6 or something previous or something latest maybe 3.4.0 for each of these different versions either really the jars or libraries that we are using every day they are having newer versions and they can have compatibility issues as well now the versions which are together compatible which are working fine that is kind of documented inside the bom file or the spring boot dependencies form so that way you have a catalog which is standardized which is compatible and that way it is managed by the spring boot team when we are working on a development project we just used our own pom.xml we don't bother about the bom file or the parent file as a result it is a seamless experience for the developer but it is always important to know what is going on the core concepts now spring boot bomb defines a curated list of dependencies as i was telling earlier and their compatible versions to avoid version conflicts and ensure compatibility between libraries and if i want to visually show you the dependency we have our spring boot project pom which actually inheriting the spring boot starter parent and that is in turn inheriting the spring boot dependencies pom or the bill of material file or the bom file i want to show you one simple thing over here you can see all these versions are 3.3.6 and internally the versions may vary for the granular level libraries let me quickly do one thing just change this version to a higher version or lower version of spring boot instead of 3.3.6 right now 3.4.0 is available i'm just going to save this so once i have saved let me refresh this project you can see immediately these versions are updated and also the dependencies inside them they are updated and if i close rest and minimize this now if i click on this the parent has changed from 3.3.6 to 3.4.0 even the dependency here that would be changed to 3.4.0 instead of 3.3.6 so these are version specific files the bill of material files kind of catalogs now here there could be scenarios where you have a custom parent pom file and you are not able to use the starter parent if that is the case let me comment this out then the entire dependency would be impacted your starter parent won't be available to you let it get saved and we will see errors over here let me load the maven changes you can see intellij has started complaining could not find artifact this spring boot starter where also this one could not find this artifact because we have commented out this starter parent so it's not available to pom what we can do in this sort of scenario so let me close the other files here one alternative is to use the bom file or spring boot dependencies file under dependency management let me add dependency management over here dependency management dependencies group id would be org.springframework.boot artifact id would be spring boot dependencies and version we can mention the version that we want to use it could be 3.3.6 or 3.4.0 whatever we want another two things we need to mention one is type type is form and another is scope scope is import let me save this load maven changes open the maven tool window now we have the dependencies resolved so to summarize what we did first we opened a standard spring boot project specifically its pom.xml file we went through the structure the standard structure where we had the starter parent and we had the starter dependencies we understood what are the starter dependencies what is starter parent how they are related now when they are related in between a concept becomes very important which is the bom file the bom file is the spring boot dependencies file why bom files are required what advantage it brings to us those core concepts we understood and then we saw an alternate way to handle spring boot dependencies without using the starter parent which could be useful on certain scenarios where you cannot use the starter parent file maybe you have a custom parent file in maven 
in such cases this is an alternate way so in case you have found this video useful i would request you to like this video and subscribe to this channel i would request you if possible please add your comment with your inputs or feedbacks or suggestion for new videos accordingly i can create new videos which could be more important and interesting for you just a request thanks a lot for your time